Hey, what's up, my beautiful YT family? It's your girl, Pure Eye Candy, coming to you with a weight update and my next step in my weight journey. So if you want to hear, keep watching. All right, my YT family, and I'm back. First, I'm going to start this video off by welcoming all my new subscribers. I welcome you to my channel, and I hope you find enjoyment in my channel. And to all of my old subscribers that have been holding me down from day one, I greatly appreciate each and every one of y'all. And thank you for sticking it in with me. So this video is a weight update and what I my next step in my weight journey. So I'm going to go back to the beginning of this video and then I'm going to put y'all where I'm at today. So in 2012 of March, for all of my new subscribers that did not know, I used to weigh 393 pounds. Yeah, 393 pounds. That is a lot of weight carried on me, on a person, period. I tried all types of diets, from the Mayo Clinic diet, from, it was just all types of diets, and I lost weight, but I gained some of the weight back. So, in March of 2012, I had decided to get the lap band, and I had the lap band in for like six months, from March the 12th to December no, March 2012 to December 2012, that's a six-month span. They took it out in December because I had a crack in it and it was the solution was leaking out of my stomach. That's a whole nother video. And they took it out because my doctor said I wasn't getting no enjoyment out of it. I only lost 100 pounds with the band. And by January 2013, I had got the sleeve. I had I had a choice to get the band back, but I was like, no, I wanted to lose the weight because I've been big mostly all of my life. So I was just looking for a, you could say a quick fix, but it really wasn't a quick fix because I lost more weight with the band than I did with the sleeve. So with the sleeve, I only lost 93 pounds. So yeah, 93 pounds. That's all I've lost with the the sleeve. I think it's because, ooh, my eye itchy. It's because my body had to readjust from the band and then get the sleeve. The band is a, for those that don't know, they make incisions in your stomach and they put a clamp around your stomach. And then you had to go back. I was going back every other month getting a feel and them feels were horrific them things hurt it so bad until I had to keep every time I went I had to tell my doctor to put the numbing stuff on it so he can get through my stomach to through the thing where he's supposed to shot shoot the solution through because it hurt it that bad so after they took it out in December, I got the sleeve in January 2013, and I am two years out from my surgery. Um, the sleeve has been a journey for me. It's still food that I cannot eat to this day. Um, I eat chicken, and if I fry it, I have to eat it right then and there. And I still, my mind has still not clicked to making smaller portions I still fix a big plate of food to this day and I'm two years out knowing that I cannot eat that food so back to what I was saying about chicken um, if it's fried chicken which I know it's not healthy for you but I was eating fried chicken before I got the surgery and I'm still going to eat it after I wasn't eating it at the beginning, but I'm two years out now. If it's a couple of hours later after that chicken's cooked, I cannot eat it. If it's fried, I have to eat it right then and there. If it's later, I cannot eat it because it gets stuck and I feel it in my throat and down to my esophagus and I have to throw it up. 
and the throw up I'm not trying to scare nobody it's so nasty looking it looks like mucus when you throw up it's just ugh. and I really don't eat rice what I've been eating, and I've been eating it every day for a while, is spinach and eggs. I love spinach and eggs. I get the cholesterol-free eggs that's in the carton because I eat so much eggs. And I get the fresh spinach, and I cook, put the eggs inside of the pot, the pan, and I fry them. And then I put the uh, spinach in the microwave so it can wither down. And I mix them together. And I add bacon bits and hot sauce and cheese. And it be so good. Ugh, it be so yummy. I just love it. It's My husband be like, do you ever get tired of eating just spinach and eggs? I don't know. It's just my body has adapted to eating that, that I eat that every day for lunch and dinner. That's all I eat every day. But I do snack. I like sweets with the gastric sleeve I still eat sweets to this day I don't eat it constantly but I mo eat it moderationally if you understand what I'm saying but with the bypass you can't eat sweets period or you gonna have the dumping syndrome so I was always eating sweets before I had my surgery and I know it's not good to be eating sweets all the time. I don't eat it all the time, but I still crave sweets and I don't deprive myself from the sweets. I don't do that it, because when I deprive myself, when I see it, I'm going to indulge in it and that's not good. So if I want something like, let me show you. these right here I did a review on these these are nature's bakery fig bars I truly truly love these things and Wal our Walmart sells them and I'm always in there getting a box and they come in a pack of two I'll eat one and then probably 30 minutes to an hour later I'll eat the other one but I do not deprive my this is somewhat healthy but not healthy you understand what I'm saying so this is what I really snack on when I want something sweet so last year I told my husband that if I wasn't pregnant by the end of the year end of November I was going to get this excess skin off for me because this skin is terrible and even though I have lost 193 pounds total. A whole thick woman was on, on in my body. And I have gotten rid of her. And uh, that's how I look at it. Because I was in a size 30, 32. And to this, today, today's date is the April the 10th. And I am in a size 12. And I am so grateful that God has brought me as far as he has brought me. And last year, I decided at the end of the November, I told my husband, if I'm not pregnant by then, I'm going to get this excess skin removed off of me. And if I get pregnant after I get it, so be it. It's fine with me. As long as I got majority of the excess skin off of me, I can work out and get the rest of the skin off of me. So I decided to get the Floor Day Lease and the Lower Body Lift. That surgery was, it wasn't horrible, but it was a journey that I have never been through. I was depressed and sad and emotional and mentally. It's like when you watch YouTube videos, they don't really say what they went through but you just see their outcome and that's what I was going off of. And you cannot do that. If you ever decide to get that surgery, you need to be mentally, emotionally, and physically ready for the surgery. Don't think it's a quick fix because it's not a quick fix because I was a scale hopper, my um, weight control specialist told me. Because every time I 
would eat something, I would jump on and off the scale, on and off the scale, on and off the scale. And that wasn't good. So I had got the floor day at least last year. And I went to my pre-op today. I got a boo-boo. They stuck me so many doggone times because they couldn't find a vein. You see these veins in my hand? It would every time they stuck me and they took the needle out, it was no blood coming back out. So I had to go back from the lab to over to the hospital for them to draw blood and the lady got it the first time and I was super duper happy. So I'm going to show y'all my floor day lease, but I'm going to tell y'all before what's my next step in this journey. So y'all know being a big girl, I had some big knockers. I had a, I was in a 48 triple D. I think that's what I was. I don't know my true size, but that's the bra size that I was wearing. And now these bad boys is a 36 C and they are saggy and I do not like that. So on May the 5th, it's like, I'm like, May the 5th, it's like two or three weeks. I'm going to have a breast augmentation a thigh lift because my thighs are super saggy and I truly do not like that. Ugh, it just I do not wear shorts. I wear shorts but they got to be below my knee. And he's going to make an incision between my thigh and bring my thighs together and um take the fat off of the excess skin and inject it in my bottom because my bottom is I want it rounder. And then he's going to do a breast lift and an upper body lift. So on May 5th, I'm going to really, 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 really try to keep y'all updated. Because i seen a lot of y'all wanted to know my update. So I'm updating y'all now of what I'm going through. I have, on my day of my surgery, I was at, with the floor, floor day lease, I was at 205. And for some reason, he said he took off 12 pounds, but I am at 190, um, 197. I don't understand that. I don't. I get. I don't understand that. But he said he took off 12 pounds, so I don't know. So on May 5th, I'm going to get my boobs done, the excess skin off of my stomach, and my lower thighs, and I'm getting fat injections in my bottom. So I just wanted y'all to know what I'm going through because I told my mom, I said, before I go, and my husband, before I go on this cruise, I want to be able to wear a two-piece. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. And if after I wear that two-piece, I don't never get in another one, that's fine with me. And if I end up getting pregnant, so be it. I just don't like the saggy skin. And this right here, whoo, this bothers me. And then I have to have another one to get the excess skin off my arms and my back. So, yeah. So I'm about to stand up before this video gets super long and nobody wants to watch it. And show y'all the results of my floor day lease. And it was, they went ar around the world on my stomach. And took my hips off. They took the... Because my hips were so wide, they took my hips off and they put it in my bottom. So I'm going to stand up and let y'all see before this video gets super long. So if you got kids in the room and you don't want them to see this, you might want to take them out. So I still wear a, a girdle thing, whatever you call it, because of my stomach. I know this probably is not a lot of stomach to people, but this is a whole bunch to me. And if I can find a picture of where I came from, I will insert that. But if I can't find it, I'm sorry. But they I'm not trying to be nasty. I just wanted to show y'all what I went through. So if you see my crack, I'm super sorry. So they cut me all around my side, my side to my back 
they cut me all the way around here and they cut me up my stomach and I still wear this girdle for some reason but it just I find comfort in it so yeah so it went from right here all the way up here to here and he's got to get this excess skin off of me because this I'm gonna turn to the side and show y'all I know y'all a tummy tuck is supposed to mean flat stomach I thought and remember when I did my other weight update they said that it was swole but it went down but I still have this bulge let me pull it down so y'all can see And that's the bulge that I still have that I do not want. So I just wanted to come in and just tell everybody what I'm going through. And I greatly appreciate each and every one of y'all supporting me and always asking me. And I am so super sorry for everybody that asks me questions and I did not return them or I this one person asked me and I know I'm so late but if you're watching this video I want to tell you I greatly greatly apologize for not doing that video about your wedding and doing a makeup tutorial and I hope your wedding was a blast and I am super sorry but if I'm not late and you watch this video Please let me know and I will get the video out as soon as possible to you. And I just want to tell each and every one of y'all that I love y'all dearly and thank you for sticking it in with me. And I hope this answered anything that y'all wanted to hear. And as always, be beautiful, be blessed, and remember most of all, stay ladied up. Mwah.